What's going on everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here and I am at the Apple keynote where Apple just took the wraps off their latest iPhone. This is the iPhone 6S and it joins its larger sibling, the iPhone 6S Plus. So a lot is new here aside from this new fourth color uh, which is rose gold. So the phone might look the same. You've got things in the familiar spots. You've got your power and lock button in a familiar spot. Uh, you've got your profile switch and volume buttons uh, all where they typically are. But everything is new here, at least that's what Apple is saying, underneath the hood. So let's start with what's on the back. Series 7000 aluminum to make it much stronger and the strongest glass Apple said they've ever put on a screen. Uh, on the back, the camera's improved. It's got 50% more pixels now. It's up to 12 megapixels. That can now also shoot 4K, as well as taking live photos. What that does, you take a simple photo, it's the same 12 megapixel picture, and record the second and a half before and heck, the second and a half after, and you can play that back. Uh, kind of cool effect. But for me, the big story here built into iOS 9 and the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus is Force Touch. And we saw that debuted with the Apple Watch, uh, but it is now here renamed 3D Touch. So if you go ahead and touch on icon, say phone for example, and you go ahead and push in a little bit more, you now get more menu options. So you can go ahead and pick who you wanted to talk to. If you go ahead and jump into mail, for example, quick force touch, you get a real quick taptic feedback and you can see what's there uh, on the screen. So you can search VIP uh, and inbox to make it much simpler. And it works with most apps as well. Jump into music, for example. And Apple's also working with third parties to make sure it works as well. So Facebook, for example, you can go ahead and search, check in, take a photo or update status. We talked about Dropbox quite a lot too. Uh, multitasking, for example, put a little bit of pressure on the left-hand side and you can go ahead and see it starts to creep in. You can see what other apps you might have uh, open. A lot of other new things here under the hood as well. You've got faster Wi-Fi, support for more bands, uh, and LTEA. Pricing configuration is still the same for the Alcoy model. Uh, Pre-orders are going to go live on September 12th for both phones. Uh, for more on the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com. Uh, until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys next video. Bye-bye.